Hey guys, it's us, and today we're at South Korea's largest cherry blossom festival. Let's go! We're literally surrounded by cherry blossoms. That's oh about to cry. It's like a K drama. Almost. Yeah. Whoa. Welcome to Jeju Island. Bro, look at that. Alright guys, so today we are heading to Jinhae Cherry Blossom Festival, the largest cherry blossom festival here in Korea. We are starting it off here in Busan, but you can also head there from Seoul and it's about a four hour bus ride from Seoul. But since we're starting it off here in Busan, Jinhae is actually closer from here. It's about an hour bus ride, but we're just gonna take a taxi because it's not that expensive anyways. It's around 40 Canadian dollars to get there. So not too bad. Before we start the day, we're gonna go to a beautiful cafe here near Han Day beach apparently it's really gorgeous and apparently the drinks are pretty good so let's go there first and the cafe is called Ren de Jeu, and I'm probably pronouncing that wrong actually but it was only 400 meters away from our accommodation which was really convenient for us because we just walked and also one of the reasons why I love South Korea so much is because they have so many cute themed cafes all around South Korea and this is one of them they have like this beautiful open space where you can see the view of Hyundai Beach and then they have a little like area where you can take photos with your coffee it's so cool but that's us <laughs> Cute cups. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, we didn't get the cute cups that everyone is getting because John wanted it to go. We are in a rush, so <laughs> yeah, we are in a this rush. is yours. Whoa. What is mine? Yours is the Jeju green tea latte with espresso, which it caught my eye because it was like Jeju green tea, and Jeju yeah. is known for green tea, right. so that's so cool. Yeah. And then I just got a caramel macchiato hot because it's actually quite chilly outside. Cheers. Very creamy. Ooh, mine is very strong. Like, very strong. <laughs> but that's strong. how you like it. I know, it's like, I'm gonna be awake till next year if it's that strong. Try mine. <laughs> it's so bitter. Do you taste the green tea? Maybe you're supposed to stir it? Oh, maybe. Do you want to get a straw? You're right. Maybe I'll do that. <laughs> but it's good though. What I love about um, the cafes also here in South Korea is that not only are they so cute and aesthetic, but the yeah. food and the drinks are actually really good. Like, yeah. you know how sometimes people only go because the cafes are cute, but the food is like mediocre or yeah. like not even good? Like, the, the cafes here like are actually, yeah. like, they have delicious food. <laughs> we didn't get it on camera, but I was as Stirs. I was mixing it, uh, it actually turned green because all I was tasting was espresso. I was like, where's the green Bro, tea? Jan drink all the espresso now. What's left is green tea. I've been drinking espresso the whole time. That's why it's so bitter. But, oh my gosh, it's so good now. It's so good now. Try it now. It's like sweet green tea. Ooh, that's so good. I feel like I'm taking a bite out of like a matcha cake. Yeah, it's delicious actually. Highly recommend. Alright, Anne got her bread. I'm booking a taxi now to get to Jinhae. So from where we are, it's about an hour and 18 minutes away. So Jinhae is actually located in Chengwon City, which is an hour and 18 minutes away from Busan. So it's gonna cost us 59,000 Korean won. And we booked this through Kakao Taxi once again. If you didn't know, this is their Uber slash Grab. So make sure you download Kakao Taxi before you head to South Korea. Uh, let's book it now and let's head there. All right, our taxi's here.
So one hour later, we finally made it here at Jin Hei Cherry Blossoms Festival. We're literally surrounded by cherry blossoms and it's unreal. Actually surreal to be here right now. Like even the drive here, there's just so many cherry blossoms all around. Like every street was just filled with cherry blossoms. Unfortunately, some trees are not fully bloomed yet, but yeah. like this is good enough for me. Yeah, like, like look at this. This is so cool. Oh, Anne's yeah. about to cry right now. <laughs> Anne's about to cry. It's so beautiful. Okay, so we got an umbrella because it's kind of rainy, but we got a cute one. All right, so we got our umbrella. It's like clear. It's so cute. Uh, since it is a festival here right now, there's so many tents that sells like different types of stuff. Obviously, they have food and they also have like souvenirs as well, which is really cool. All right, so it's still raining. So Anne and I, we decided to just to get lunch first because we haven't eaten anything yet. Let this rain kind of die down before we can actually do stuff. So we're gonna get some food and then we'll explore a little bit more of this area right after. So we found this stew place. Let's get some soup. So for lunch, we're getting stew, uh, kimchi tofu stew. And the language barrier is real. <laughs> Well, yeah, we just found this randomly on the side of the road, but super local. it's like, super local. local yeah. So our food's here. We got some kimchi stew. It's massive. It's from the bottles. Obviously. It smells spicy. Is it spicy, babe? A little spicy. It's a bear. Yeah. It's really good. Yeah. We just wanted something like warm, obviously, because of the weather. Damn, I wish it stops. Hopefully, it stops. All right. Back to the rain. <laughs> so Jinhei festival is actually pretty massive and there are a few spots where you can see the cherry blossom and the number one place to see them here is called Yewachion stream. I'm sure I said that wrong. Yeah, this is the number one spot. We're heading there right now. Let's go. We're here. This is also the most popular place to see the cherry blossoms and it is quite packed. It's really worth the hype actually. Even though the cherry blossoms aren't fully bloomed yet, it's still really beautiful. Just seeing the stream with the cherry blossoms, it's like a K-drama almost. Yeah. This is a festival, there's so many street foods here right now. I'm gonna get one, I'm still kind of hungry. Hello. How much? Yeah. So I got me some fish cakes. Uh, it's just so warm. Drink it. Let me try it. There's only a three Korean one, or 3,000 Korean one. So around $3. It's warm, it's not hot. Uh -huh. mm. And my view is just a bunch of cherry blossoms and life is good. <laughs> Thank you. 
All right, so it feels so good to finally check this off our bucket list. Yeah, Jan and I have been wanting to see Sakura season for a very long time now, specifically yeah. in South Korea because yeah. we love South Korea so much. Man, it's been, I feel like I'm in a movie right now. Yeah, like every single corner feels like you're in a K drama and then cherry blossoms <laughs> just add to it. Yeah, no. All right, so we found this random arcade on the side of the road. We're gonna play and see if we can win something. But win me a Pokemon. Gotta catch them all. All right, here we go, here we go. Who are we trying to catch? Let's try this dude. That sounds really rough. Yeah. They need to oil that. No one plays here. Come on. So we're back where the tents are. I'm just kind of browsing, shopping. Four more bars. How many do I have to get in? Four balls. So it's 5,000 Korean won uh, per game. So you get four balls. And if you get one in, you get a back scratcher. If you get two in, you get a yo yo. If you get all of them in, you can get a stuffed toy. Okay. All right. I never lose. Oh man, that, that looks really nice. Right. Stiff. Small and stiff. I just airballed. Oh, I, got, I just got a back scratch here. Oh, yo yo. Uh, yo yo. <laughs> oh, what do you want, babe? What do you want, baby? Thank you. Thank you, Gamsamida. Hey, you got one, baby. <laughs> All right, so right now we're heading to Gyeongwa Station. I think that's how you should say it. It's a former train station, and that's the other famous spot on where to see the cherry blossoms as well here in Jinhae. The only downside is that it's uh, two to three kilometers away from where we were, so we actually had to take a taxi to get there. You can also walk, but obviously it's raining. So we just took a taxi and it cost us only around $5 since it's only three kilometers away. Babe, this one, there's less people. Yeah, I think maybe because also it's raining yeah. and uh, most of the cherry blossoms here haven't uh, actually bloomed yet. So this is like the famous train where people like take photos. Yeah, we're like in the middle of the train track. I can only imagine how much more beautiful it is when the cherry blossoms have fully bloomed. So you can see all these trees right here, like to my left and to my right. Those are all cherry blossoms. So imagine like taking a photo right there if they were all fully bloomed. Yeah. That would have been so nice. Guys, look at this cherry blossom. It's full. It's fully blossomed now. It's so beautiful. the next day now yesterday's festival was amazing if you guys get the chance to go make sure to do so because we highly highly recommend it so today we are actually leaving Busan and we are heading to one of our favorite islands ever we're currently back here at our accommodation just packing and we're about to head out to the airport now oh yeah also I guess we haven't shown you our room here in Busan yet so let me give you a quick room tour so this is a vacation rental and they do have three different types of rooms with different aesthetics but let me show you ours real quick let's go all right so this is our bed one for me and one for Anne and then over here is an amazing view of Hyundai Beach just over there like look at that view guys and look at this hangout area over here as well. Here's our living room area slash kitchen. Anne's over there, we're currently packing. Oh yeah, look at all this space. 
So this is our kitchen. Sorry, it's kind of lived in. We've been here for a few days. But yeah, so this is our kitchen area. And check this out, guys. So this is our massive bathroom over here. With a jacuzzi as well. Look at that. But yeah, so this is where we've been staying here in Busan and it's honestly been such an amazing accommodation for Anne and I. Honestly, this has got to be one of the most aesthetically pleasing homestays that we've ever stayed at. It just gives off like zen vibes as you can see from like the little details around the place. There's like this little rock garden over there. Yeah, like, I know. With the view. Sometimes like in the middle of the night when I gotta go pee, I love to just like take in the sea with like, yeah. the moon and like the building lights and everything. It's so nice. And at night we actually leave the window open because we could just hear the sound of the ocean. It's amazing. Oh, and also we have a projector as well. Um, projector. There's a projector and we can watch movies on the wall. Yeah, there's YouTube and Netflix. All right, so we're packed. We basically live off these luggages. Look at that. They're massive. Break it. Yeah, it was. Yeah, our luggage <laughs> broke on our way to the Philippines. All right. So we are back here in Jeju Island. Alright guys, so we are starting it off here at Osolok Tea Museum. This is one of the most popular things to see and do here at Jeju Island. Yeah, especially because Jeju Island is known for not only mandarins, but green yeah. tea. Yeah, so we're excited to see it. Let's go explore. So before we enter the museum, we're actually just taking a stroll around the outside of the area because there's actually cherry blossoms. So the cherry blossoms here are actually fully bloomed compared to other places in Jeju. So it's really nice. And also, if you guys are wondering, there is no admission fee to enter into the museum. So it's completely free. So I think before we start exploring, we're actually gonna go to a cafe. It's a very famous cafe here in Osala Tea Museum. And apparently they have like green tea ice cream and a lot of things that are made out of green tea. So let's go check it out. It's probably not gonna be here. Jan and I actually haven't eaten breakfast yet, so I guess we're having dessert for breakfast. <laughs> All right, so they have like green tea cakes over here. They have some, like some sort of smoothie made out of green tea. It's so cool, and they even have uh, macarons made out of green tea. 
and Earl Grey tea. So cool. And ice cream as well. Bro, look at that. It's so vibrant, I just don't want to eat it. <laughs> so we got our dessert, literally our first meal of the day, which is kind of funny. We got the green tea roll cake, the Jeju matcha soft ice cream, and the green tea waffle freddo. Yeah, look at that. Uh, this is try. actually a set. So I think to make it easier for everyone, they yeah. have like different kind of sets. This yeah. was their most popular. Yeah. And serving time was like so fast. Like we ordered and it was there already. Everything um, turned out to be $18 yeah. Canadian. Okay, I'm gonna try the the cake, the cake roll first. Look at that. Wow. How's that? It's very moist and it's so it's so light. A lot of cake rolls that I've had in the past are like sometimes too dry, but this is just like perfect. Alright, let me give this a try. What's inside it? I don't even know. It's some kind of cream, but it's very light and it complements the breading. Bro, oh, I need more of that. We need to buy the whole cake. We don't need a slice. We need to buy the whole cake. That's delicious. Wait, I'm really excited for this ice cream, so I'm just gonna go for it. Yeah. You're right, it is moist, even though I hate that word. But moist. <laughs> uh, super soft. It just kind of just melts in your mouth. It's amazing. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, ice cream. That is some authentic green tea ice cream, but it's not as bitter as you think it might be. Oh, okay. Ooh, tastes like grass, but it's amazing. This is it one has of, some sweetness to it. This is honestly one of the best ice cream I've ever had. Kind of reminds me of the one we had in Japan. Yeah. Right? Japan's was a little bit more... Bitter. Bitter, yeah. Is this a save? Uh, I think it's like a smoothie of some kind. I think it's a save. Like the white oh, stuff. Oh, I didn't even... Yeah, yeah, see? Okay. There's just ice cream on top of it, yeah. Let's mix it. Hello, hello. Oh, okay. What is it? Yeah. It's like a mixture of the ice cream and it's a little bit more a little bit more creamier. Alright, so so far food is amazing. Even if you just go here for the cafe, if you're not really a big fan of like green tea in general, the food itself is so worth the drive of coming here. It was so good. It's called Masha Cave Sand. They have free samples, so let's see what it tastes like. Really good. What it looks like. Wait. It's like a green tea cookie. Kind of chocolatey. Yeah, with some sort of like. Yeah, it tastes like chocolate actually. So done with breakfast slash dessert. <laughs> We're outside now. I'm about to check out some green tea plants because I've actually never seen a green tea plant up close before. So let's go check them out. Ooh, babe, this is so nice. This is what we use on our face, babe. Green tea? Yeah. We should grab some leaves and so we can make some green tea at home. Is that how it works? No. I don't want to go to jail. <laughs> uh, look, we can walk through them. Come, come. Oh, damn. All right, so they call this their tea terrace. Um, there's basically so many green tea plants here. We're surrounded. Yeah, so this is a green tea field. That's what it's. That's what it is. Look, babe, I feel like I'm in a K drama. So while walking around, we actually met a subscriber. If you're watching Colin, nice to meet you. He's from Singapore, so nice to meet you, man. 
So at this museum, you will also find the Innisfree Jeju House, which is a skincare brand here in Korea. And I guess that they placed it here specifically because a lot of um, Innisfree products have green tea in them. Innisfree is actually one of the first Korean skincare brands that I introduced to Jan. Yeah. And um, green tea is really good for your face because it has antibacteria um, that kills the bacteria in your acne or breakouts. So it's really good and soothing for the skin. So we're gonna go see the products that they have inside. Jan should have brought me here because once I start shopping for skincare, I won't stop. We love uh, Korean skincare products. They're amazing. Ooh, I think I need this right here. Look, only three thousand. So this is three dollars. What is it? A lot of the products here in this specific store, they only have in Jeju. Yeah. So it's really cool. Highly recommend if you guys are looking for skincare, come here because you can't find this anywhere else. There's no way I'm not buying anything here in, in Korea. Korea. In Korea, at least. How cute it is. Let's use it right now. Let's test it. I'm just so excited. Right, let me try that $10 lip See balm. See what I mean? Jan always steals my lip balm. Later, it's going to be gone. Well, it is like you can fall feel. here. Oh, no, spring. So spring. my lips be dry a little bit. Yeah. Ooh, this is good. Can I eat it? So this place is actually massive because we were over on that side and we thought those were the green tea fields. Look at how huge this green tea field is. Yeah. And there's also cherry blossoms right beside it. It makes it so much more beautiful in my opinion. Man, this place is so gorgeous. This one is so much more massive than the other one we were just yeah, at. So much bigger. Look at this. <laughs> Oh yeah, only in Jeju, baby. <laughs> hey guys, Future Jan here. So unfortunately, we weren't able to film more of our adventures in Jeju Island because when we were there, there was actually a storm. All right, so we're trying to get coffee, but there's a storm right now. It's pouring like crazy here in Jeju Island. Oh, well, we need our coffee. <laughs> raining the entire time so we didn't really get to film much after this and that's why it was cut short uh, Anne and I we just decided to kind of just hang out and spend some time together without the camera but we do hope to show you more of this beautiful island in the near future because we love it so much but we do hope you still enjoyed it as always thank you all so much for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe and we'll see you guys in the next one peace